Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, alumni, students, and community members. Welcome to the 60th Annual Alumni Awards Virtual Celebration. I'm excited to be your host this evening as we recognize and welcome these outstanding alumni in a distinct rank and class. My name is Josh Landon. I feel fortunate to be the anchor for Fox 2 News. I'm equally as proud to be an EMU alumnus. Being here in this moment, I fondly remember my time on campus where I had so many rich experiences that I carry with me to this very day. During tonight's celebration, you will hear from our alumni and their experiences while we pay homage to their careers and service to the community. As such, I would like to welcome you to this virtual celebration where we acknowledge both the 2020 and 2021 recipients of the 60th Annual Alumni Awards at a time when we launch our biggest fundraising campaign in the history of Eastern Michigan University, Give Rise. This evening is a celebration of our university's outstanding alumni. Our honorees represent a cross-section of industry leaders from secondary and higher education, aviation, business nonprofit management, technology, and healthcare. These individuals are the very best of our extensive alumni family as recognized by their peers. They have excelled professionally, personally, and continue to leave their mark on both the community and here at Eastern. We are fortunate to have been a part of their journey and look forward to having shared memories to come. These remarkable people and so many others represent the university using their knowledge, charisma, perseverance, and positive influence to contribute to a larger community. Our award recipients have unique and inspiring stories to tell, and I know we are all excited to hear from them this evening. But before we hear from them, we have a special message from EMU's Office for Alumni Relations. Welcome to the 60th Annual Alumni Awards Celebration. My name is Mia Milton, Interim Executive Director for Alumni Relations and Engagement and Class of 1996 and 2012. For 60 consecutive years, we have honored the tradition of acknowledging first-class alumni through this celebration. Though the past two years have been challenging due to the pandemic, our dedication to making this award celebration special has been a priority. So today, we bring you greetings on behalf of alumni and are proud to give a round of applause to our exceptional awardees. They represent the diversity of not only our alumni population, but also our student body. We establish an environment where all are welcome in order to foster a culture of inclusivity, which has become a part of the foundation for the university. Ranging from social and ethnic background, gender, age, and much more, we celebrate their individuality, their wins, their joy and passion, their drive, their ambition, and their challenges. All of these things help them rise to the occasion to become the alumni we are so proud of. Blazing their own paths to success, one cannot underestimate the impact that EMU has had on their journey post-graduation. Today we demonstrate how proud we are of the experiences that Eastern Michigan University provides its students, how proud we are of who our students become, and how excited we are to celebrate their accomplishments and our combined future. And as alumni, we understand that this institution has been a place of opportunity that encouraged us as students to try new things and explore the possibilities that prepared us for society. It is a joyous occasion when alumni come back home to connect with their roots, which is what the EMU Alumni Association is all about. Our mission is to promote pride, loyalty, and continuing support for the university among current and future alumni and the university community. As a part of that mission, it pleases me to extend a heartwarming congratulations on behalf of the EMU Alumni Association Board of Directors. We have over the years given these awards to 349 alumni. Our alumni award winners represent an alumni body of more than 180,000 graduates. These graduates have gone on to do remarkable things from an executive level to a grassroots community level, while also returning to the university to volunteer in various capacities as illustrated by our awardees, all of which help promote the university pride and continue a rich legacy that will never be forgotten. We salute you and give rise to all that you have accomplished and continue to accomplish. You represent the very best EMU has to offer. My experience at Eastern Michigan University really helped me prepare for my career and for today through the group projects that we had 
and really the autonomy that our faculty and our professors gave us in the class. And so it was a very much sink or swim experience, which I appreciate now, but in the moment I know it was harder than I hoped for, uh, but that's what a master's is all about. Because in the real world, there's not much guidance in a rubric that tells you what to do and how to do it. It's very much figuring it out. I'm currently working at Ford Motor Company Fund working on scholarships and education programs globally. On a typical day, I get to work with a bunch of universities across the globe, and I get to run programs around scholarship giving and community projects that are led by students to make a difference in the communities that they live. In my current role at Ford, I have had the opportunity to come on campus to be part of the Strategic Planning Committee at Eastern as well as other events on campus too. And so being part of the committee was really great because I was able to give input from the corporate side, but also just as a previous student here and giving my kind of two cents of what I thought would be helpful to students in their future at Eastern. And so it really helped me take a deeper dive at Eastern and better understand their structure, what their goals are, and what the passion of the university is. And it brought me even closer uh, to campus. Being able to give back is a passion of mine. Being able to serve students is a passion of mine. And through the work that I do at the Ford Fund, I get to do that on a daily basis in their academic career, but also hoping that the projects that they work on affects their future careers as well. I've also served as a faculty advisor for the Lebanese Student Association at U of M Dearborn. And through my work there, I was selected as their keynote speaker a couple years ago at their gala. And I was able to speak to students about just their future careers and as Lebanese students in the community, which I was one as well, just some challenges they may face and how they can overcome that and how to really stick to what their passion is and how to achieve their goals. Being an alumna from EMU, makes you want to come back to campus and give back. And I know that there are other students that are probably working and going to school too, trying to figure out their own futures. And I had a seat here once. Through the funding from my job at Ford or through just advice that I can give them, I'm happy to serve and give back when I have the chance to do so. Being a child of immigrants and the first to get their masters in their family, this means a lot to me to receive this award. My parents came here with less than $500 in their pocket and didn't know if they would make it, but they came here to start a family and to raise us in this community and help us have a better future than they did. And so for me, being able to receive this award and beyond that, the work that I get to do and the impact I can have globally makes me feel like I've fulfilled their goals for me and achieved what they, what they set for me and what they gave up for me. I want to thank President Smith and Lisa Common for all their efforts here at Eastern, but also to have me as a recipient of this award. It has been a pleasure working with you and being able to give back to this community. I would also like to thank the Alumni Association. They have put so much effort and work into this event, but also to recognize us as awardees through COVID, through the pandemic, nothing stopped them. So thank you so much. I also want to thank my family, my parents, my nieces, my husband. I couldn't be here without you. And to my parents, as their first generation child that came to get their masters, I wouldn't be here without you, of course. And I really appreciate all that you gave up to give us, your children, a better future. You came here with nothing and you created so much for yourselves but, and for us and so many opportunities. And so without you, we would not be where we are today. So thank you. So in my work, there really isn't a typical day. It could range from one-on-one -on -one meetings with students to supporting the writing of statements connected to climate concerns or crisis responses that are happening across the country or across the globe. It involves programming for students, faculty and staff, training. I also provide strategic leadership for diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives for the entire division of student affairs. Diversity, equity, and inclusion is my passion, but students are my heart. What I love most, I think, about my job is the ability to set the tone for belonging for students, especially students who look like me, students from marginalized backgrounds, um, students who are first generation, students who oftentimes attend universities where they don't feel seen, validated, or supported. And so I love that I have a job that really centers on creating that sense of belonging, of helping students find radical love and experience it deeply as a part of their academic experience at a university. I'm a first-generation college student. My brother and I went to college straight out of high school in ways that my parents did not. 
So I actually transferred from Lansing Community College to Jackson State University. And two years into it, I came home for winter break and my dad um, was really, really ill. And so I decided at that moment that I was gonna transfer. And so then I happened upon Eastern and decided that I was gonna transfer to Eastern into their secondary education program. The social work program at Eastern absolutely still continues to influence how I think about my work. And while I was finding social work, I was working in the Center for Multicultural Affairs. As a work-study student, I was doing university-wide diversity, equity, and inclusion work. I was doing diversity programming for students and with students in ways that I do now. Like, I never imagined myself with a master's, let alone a PhD. And so it feels really good to be able to do that same work now. And, and recognize that the only reason I can do the work and that I'm passionate about the work is because of the experiences I had during my undergraduate time. I was actually on the Alumni Association Board of Directors. I also was an active member for the EMU Black Alumni Association. My ability to do well is connected to my ability to see people before me do well. The importance is because alums serve as possibility models, a vision of what could be, you know, once you graduate and get this degree and transition not into the real world, but a different version of the world. Some folks that I do want to recognize from Eastern, Dr. Mark Jackson, Charlie or Sharnessa Pleasant, relationships with them were pivotal during my time at Eastern. Charlie was my supervisor at the Center for Multicultural Affairs and uh, Dr. Jackson was like kind of my first professional mentor. <laughs> I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize my family. Being able to have them be present in this journey, even through my PhD, means a lot to me, um, given the life that they lived and the sacrifices they made on our behalf. My mom passed away in 2018, and I, you know, think often how so much of who I am and so much of who I desired to be uh, was influenced by her. And so I think I certainly cannot accept an honor like this without also recognizing and honoring her um, and the influence that she had on my life and continues to have. I think she, for me, was also a possibility model of courage and sacrifice. And um, I think those are things that continue to show up in my life and certainly showed up when I was willing to transfer yet again to a whole new university across the country and start over brand new um, at Eastern. And so uh, wanted to just make space to honor her as well. I get excited sharing my passion for video games with people because I just want to spread the love and I want more people to be playing games. More importantly, we're seeing the tremendous impact play has and it just so happens as gamers, we have the knowledge to be of help. So Gamers Outreach is an organization that is focused on making play accessible in hospitals. And we do that through video games. The Eastern Michigan University had a tremendous impact on my life. It was this campus existing that I had an environment to explore my interests as a video game enthusiast. So this all started about 14 years ago. I was a high school student. I developed an interest in hosting video game tournaments. And actually that's how I discovered Eastern Michigan. The, at the time, the Student Center had just been completed and it was a perfect facility for hosting my events. So I started organizing video game tournaments and would take the money from ticket sales and donate that money towards buying video games for our local children's hospitals. So my role as founder and executive director is to ensure that we're going into healthcare facilities and helping them manage video game content at scale. And really our goal in doing that is to help improve the patient experience. So we do a lot of work with kids and families who are undergoing treatment for extended periods of time. And through video games, we're providing them with access to activities, opportunities to socialize. And there are even cases where video games are helping with the healthcare process. We're in about 230 hospitals nationwide, and we estimate our programs are supporting between two to 2.5 million play sessions each year across all the devices we've deployed. Each year, we host an event called Gamers for Giving. So we'll rent out the Convocation Center. We have a team of volunteers and staff who will deploy network infrastructure, build out some production value, and then we'll invite out a couple thousand video game enthusiasts. And they play video games for an entire weekend. And then we also produce a stream broadcast from the event where we'll ask people on the internet to donate and support the work we're doing in hospitals around the country. Outside of Gamers Outreach, I'm also involved with Game Above. We're a group of Eastern Michigan alumni, and we've come together to basically help evolve the education experience. Technology is just gonna become more prevalent in our lives as time goes on, and so our hope as alumni is to come together and say, hey, how do we help Eastern Michigan? How do we help the students? How do we help the staff be equipped 
with the knowledge to use these tools in a way that are productive and beneficial for society at large. For me, the idea of lifelong education is important. How do we make education more accessible? How do we help the school provide high quality education? And those are things that we're very actively working with the school to help identify and address in a meaningful way. I'm super excited to see the renovations in Sill Hall. Even though I was a marketing major during my time at Eastern, I actually enrolled in the simulation animation game design course. To see us as Game Above have the chance to make these upgrades to Sill Hall and improve the environment and hopefully the overall learning experience for students, I think is incredibly meaningful. And I hope will have an impact years down the road as students enroll here, take courses, and eventually take that knowledge and exercise it in the real world. It's a huge honor to be recognized by the faculty here at Eastern Michigan University, as well as the broader student community for the work we've been doing. We have a team of volunteers who have been part of the initiatives of Gamers Outreach for the last 14 years, and a good number of them have been Eastern Michigan students. So I really believe this is a recognition that is intended to be shared with them as well. During my time here as a student, I had the opportunity to benefit from the facilities we have here at Eastern Michigan, as well as the patience, understanding, and education that was provided by the faculty. Everything that happened to me during my time at Eastern has been a large part of making my career possible to date. We're super proud to represent Eastern Michigan on the national level, and we hope to continue making everyone proud. So thank you so much for this honor. I wish we could see each other in person, but I'm super grateful to be a part of this distinguished class of alumni. The EMU Alumni Achievement Award has four recipients, Dr. Kevin Al Schuler, Dr. Derek Coleman, Christina Miller, and Chad Newton. This award category is given to alumni who have achieved distinction in their chosen field, clearly demonstrated the value of their college education and maintain a continuing interest in Eastern Michigan University. Generally, recipients have been graduates of EMU for 10 to 25 years. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Rehabilitation Medicine at the University of Washington School of Medicine. I went into psychology because I was interested in helping people. And one of the things that I get to do every day, whether it's through our clinical care or through research, is I get to either help patients directly or find new or better ways that we can help them in the future. And in rehabilitation medicine, we help patients who have chronic illnesses or are suffering the consequences of a severe injury. And we help them learn to manage their symptoms and improve their functioning and maximize their quality of life despite whatever health condition they have. This is the University of Washington's Multiple Sclerosis Center. Here in this clinic, I spend two days a week providing clinical care as a psychologist. I'm the co-medical director, so I lead our psychology service. And I also co-lead our multiple sclerosis rehabilitation and wellness research program, where we're looking for new or different or better ways to help our patients learn to live with multiple sclerosis and learn to manage its symptoms and function at their best. When I enrolled in the EMU program, it was actually a very new program. The first class had yet to graduate from the program, and I've always thought that there was so much energy around making that PhD program successful. Having that level of energy and engagement from the faculty was, was really important in terms of providing the experience that led to where I am today. It's really been great to have opportunity to represent the program at a variety of levels and to interact with the next generation of trainees. So here at the University of Washington, I'm involved in our training program, also with the Rehabilitation Psychology Division of the American Psychological Association and with the National MS Society. And at each of those levels, there's a chance to mentor students, to represent uh, students' interests, and that's included now getting to interact with a number of students from the EMU program who've really emerged to uh, be at the top of their class in recent years. And so it's fun to get to represent EMU and, and get to help continue the mentorship and, and hopefully continue the success. 
Receiving this award from EMU, first off was a surprise, and second off was a tremendous honor. And, and one of the most fun things since receiving this award has been thinking about you know, the path that I've been on from 2004 when I started at EMU until today. And, and that path is really framed by collaboration. And so there's a number of people um, to thank and, and a few to definitely highlight here. So from EMU is Flora Houdin, who is my mentor, um, who did so much to shape who I've become as a psychologist, um, as well as other faculty, Michelle Bird, uh, Ellen Cook, Karen Sauls, Mike Geiser at the University of Michigan, who's the person who really shaped my interest in pain psychology specifically, John Otis, who I did research with at the Boston BA, and Don Eady, who I work with here, who was my fellowship mentor and now is my main collaborator. And then of course, the last but definitely not least is my family, my parents, uh, my wife Heather, our three daughters, so thank you to EMU and to the Alumni Association and to the psychology faculty who nominated me for this award. It was such a surprise, but it's also such an honor. Um, I look forward to being back there to see you all in the near future. The greatest hobby that I have, and not to sound cliche, is that I am working within my passion. People always ask, what does a superintendent do? And the best answer that I can give someone is the equivalent to being the mayor of a small city. I became an educator so that I can create opportunities and access for children, regardless to what their socioeconomic status is. Because one thing for certain, all children need something. And that's the greatest part about my job. How do you create a system that meets children where they are? When I arrived here in River Rouge in 2012, we had a $3.4 million deficit. I recognized that we had an opportunity to do something great because there's opportunity in crisis. We're gonna treat every child as if they're our own. That we'll close the gaps if they have any academically and accelerate their opportunities for growth. And as difficult as it sounds, we've been able to do it. My vision for this district was that every student that leaves here will leave with an LLC, they'll leave with a trade, they'll leave college ready. And so it has been a nine year journey. The district has continued to evolve. Fit is extremely important. And while I believe that I, I would have had relative success any place that I went, I am absolutely certain that Eastern was the best place for me. I went into education as an undergrad. I knew that this is what I wanted to do. And so when I walked into the program, I was a part of an institution whose sole purpose was to make certain that they prepared educators for the work that was to come that enriched the experiences of everyone beyond the textbook. Our Greg Peoples, who was the Associate Dean of Students and then became Dean of Students, I don't think that I could have asked for a better person to have as a guide on that, that path that I was on. He took me to a leadership and development conference in, at the College of William and Mary. And them taking me to that Black Leadership and Development Conference changed the way I viewed myself because I felt that poverty was a handicap to a degree. And once I got into that environment and I'm competing with the best of the best, it changed my life. I think that we all have a responsibility to pay it forward. No individual would be who they are without having had people in their lives that could provide them with, again, access, opportunity, guidance. Eastern did that for me. I'm actually a member of the EMU Foundation Board. That is a phenomenal opportunity for me to help give back to the university because I could not have picked a better place to go. So I find great joy in doing that. I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. So that allows me the opportunity to provide mentorship and again, access. Because one of the things that I needed most that I didn't have growing up was uh, a mentor. I had people who could assist me, but not a dedicated mentor. And I just would like to take a moment to thank uh, Eastern Michigan University for this most prestigious award. Dr. Smith and his leadership for the university the Black Alumni Association, Mr. Gregory Peoples, Dr. Lynette Finley, Ellen Gold, and anyone who I may have missed who was a part of my journey. Eastern was just 
the most ideal place for me to go. And my hope and prayers for anyone who can hear this is that those were your experiences as well, but more importantly, that we help promote the great work that has happened at this university. Because none of us that are alumni who are either receiving this award or who've gone on to find success would be who we are without Eastern Michigan University. Go Green. I have a master's degree in nutrition and dietetics from Eastern Michigan University, and I am a nutrition outreach manager for some of the best, hardest working people in the world, Michigan dairy farmers. The program prepared me in so many ways, ways I didn't realize until after I had graduated. Just that extra confidence from having an advanced degree. The other thing is because I work with consumers and students and health professionals so much, making sure that I can communicate accurate science-based information is so important. I love the fact that what I do, anybody can relate to. We all eat, we can all relate to food, and you can always find common ground with an individual when you're talking about food. Wherever there's food, there's need for a dietitian. And at this stage of my career, the most rewarding thing that I get to do is mentor students. I'd like to stay connected as an alum to EMU because it's where I really began my professional career and I feel like it's a great place for me to come back and grow and there's such a great dietetics program. I can work with the program here either as an instructor, which I love to do, or as an outside alum looking in to help support programs in buildings such as helping my employer make a donation to these types of facilities to further that education of young professionals. This demo kitchen that is right here that we're standing in now, this is truly quite an innovation and it really is a great place to help teach health professionals, dietetic students, about how you teach nutrition, where the rubber meets the road, and this is such a great environment to do that. And it really makes me excited. I'm a foodie, I love food, that's all I can say. <laughs> I am connected to the EMU Dietetics Program in a couple different ways. Through my job with Michigan Dairy Farmers, United Dairy Industry of Michigan, I train dietetic interns, students from across the state, teaching them how to do cooking demonstrations. So teaching nutrition education through food. It's a way for me to get back to my profession, but it's also a two-way street. They are so inspiring and they keep me on my toes. They keep me inspired, encouraged, and engaged in my profession. So at EMU, one of the unique features you offer here is a student food pantry, Swoops. And through my role at United Dairy Industry of Michigan and working with one of my other colleagues, we have a relationship with the food pantry. So we're able to help to donate dairy products and support that program in feeding students. We know that hunger in college students continues to grow. And you learn best when you're well nourished. So we want to see that happen here at EMU. Receiving this award, this is one of the highest honors I think I could get. It really is kind of the accumulation of years of experience, hard work, and it's so nice to have that recognized by my, my colleagues and, and friends here at EMU. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my colleagues and friends here at EMU. This honor is just uh, incredible. It is probably the highlight of my career, my profession, and it means so much to me that the university and you as my colleagues and friends here on campus have recognized me uh, with this great honor. So thank you again. Prior to coming to Eastern Michigan University, I served in the military for four years and kind of shied away from education. After I got out of the, the military, uh, I was married and had children. And my wife was a strong encourager for me to go to and get my bachelor's degree. After coming to Eastern Michigan, I quickly realized that I had the capacity to learn and get a higher education. And some of the most impactful people that I've met here 
was my graduate advisor, Dr. Denise Pilato. Also, Jill Ann Bauer was a strong advisor for me. Uh, she was our leader of uh, the police staff and command group, and she encouraged not only me, but all the students uh, that attended police staff command to get their degree here at Eastern Michigan. Not only did she do that with me, but in turn, I've done that with several other students. So I would work on the midnight shift down in Detroit, and I would get off at 7 a.m. I would drive directly to Eastern Michigan, sleep in the parking lot for about two to three hours until classes started, wake up, go to classes all day, and then go home, get to sleep, wake up, go to work, and I'll repeat that all over again. I did that for just under four years by working full-time and going to school full-time. Looking back, it was a very difficult road, but it was uh, something that was worthwhile because the higher level of education opened up a lot of doors for me later on. So we get things in life that are as a result of where you came from. And I think it's important for you to remember the institution, the, the faculty, the staff that poured a lot of time and energy in, in making you who you are and giving you opportunities that you receive when you, when you attend a college, whatever college it is. Uh, that college gives you keys to open doors in life. And I've been very fortunate. Eastern Michigan has given me several keys, whether it was through my bachelor's program, my master's program, or my police staff at command. I've made a lot of connections. Now this is an opportunity for me as a, as a regent of Eastern Michigan to help others to, to have the same experiences or similar experiences I have. One of the things that I always say to people is make your friends before you need them. I've been very fortunate to meet a lot of people here at Eastern Michigan or through my job that have given me opportunities that I would have never had. It was because I developed relationships with these, these people, they've been able to still help me get to where I am today. This is a huge honor for me to um, be recognized for this award. There are many people to thank, but there's one person to thank more than anybody else. I've been fortunate enough to be married to my wife, Rhonda, for over 31 years. As a young man, being married at the age of 20 years old and starting to have children right away, it was very, very difficult to attend college it was very, very difficult to uh, work full time. There's so much work that has to be done in order to achieve that. But without her assistance and her insistence that I, I, I attend college, I get my degree and make sure that um, I become the best version of myself, I can say unequivocally that I would have never attended college. I wanna thank my wife Rhonda Newton for all the help that you've ever given me in making sure that you pushed me as hard as you did to become the, the man, the husband, the father, and the leader that I have become. Eastern Michigan's Distinguished Alumni Award is given to alumni who have achieved extraordinary distinction in their chosen field demonstrated unusual service to others, and maintained a continuing interest in Eastern Michigan University. Generally, recipients have been graduates of EMU for more than 25 years. Tonight, we honor Carrie J. Clark and Bina Roselle Elliott. Typical day for me as director at the Henry Ford Health System. Basically, I'm responsible for four different teams, the project management office, the ITSM team, testing team, and service now. And so a typical day for me is dealing with our stakeholders, our customers, managing projects, making sure that we deliver on time, within budget, also looking at ways that we could be efficient in our processes across the IT organization, and then also making sure at the end of the day that my organization is bringing value to what we do at Henry Ford, to ultimately help save lives. The thing I love most about my career is the people that I work with. We make a difference and our differences are made through projects that we manage and execute. It's all about the patients and helping those that are maybe in pain or, uh, or unfortunately dealing with the illness that may be detrimental. And so there's nothing more rewarding than helping people see better days. Uh, outside of my current role as a director at Henry Ford Health System, I also serve as the regional director of the Great Lakes region of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So hobbies basically is Alpha Kappa Alpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha, and Alpha Kappa Alpha. I'm responsible for five states. We have currently 7,000 plus members across those five states, and we are responsible for servicing communities. 
My experience here at Eastern Michigan University when I was initiated into Xi Chapter in 1987 was phenomenal and really is the start of who I am today. And so for me, even though Eastern Michigan University was a start in a different aspect, but when I joined the sorority, it just kind of fulfilled me in, in different ways. Not only by having sisters, but doing community service projects within the Ypsilanti area. And then also we were very responsible for a lot of things that we did on campus as well. EMU had a tremendous impact on me as a student. Attending EMU and getting my Bachelor of Science degree really gave me the confidence and the courage to go on to pursue my master's degree, which I am now pursuing a second master's degree. And I have to really give thanks to EMU because they were the core of the foundation to make me believe that I can do this. Also, some of the people that have had major impacts on me uh, while I was attending EMU uh, were some of my, obviously, sorority sisters. I think the family connection, even though they were not, you know, biologically my family members, but I did have a family here and so that was like a family uh, away from home. I have not been on this campus in years to see how the school has truly blossomed in renovation and development and adding new buildings and to be in the Seal Hall building that I used to take many courses in to see it today is just unbelievable. But you know what it does for me, it really validates that Eastern Michigan is about putting back into the school, making sure that the students that are traveling the path that I once traveled, they're getting the best of the best. This is the institution that have shaped me into the person that I am today. So I am very grateful and very thankful because not only do I represent my brand, but I also represent Eastern Michigan University brand as well. I just would like to thank Eastern Michigan University for selecting me as a recipient for this award. It is an honor. I am grateful to accept this award. And also, I would like to just say, I am so thrilled to be uh, mentioned in the same category as Bina, uh, who's also a recipient in this category. And so I just would like to say congratulations to her as well, and to all the other recipients that are being recognized for all the hard work and all the good things that you have done in the community. I accept this award with pride and with honor, and I know if my grandmother, if she was alive today, uh, she would be ecstatic, but I know she's looking down on me and smiling. So thank you so much. Well, EMU was a game changer for me. I'm a first generation college student, and so we didn't have discussions at home around money or finance or anything else. So I, the world of finance was foreign to me until I got to Eastern Michigan and decided to figure out what my major would be. And I knew that business was gonna be that major, but I started off in an international business, which is a great marketing degree with the language. And once I took a couple classes, I realized what came really easy to me was accounting. And I graduated in 19. 92 with a bachelor's in business administration and what I'm doing now is I'm the head of Advancing Black Pathways for J.P. Morgan Chase. I'm responsible for addressing the racial wealth gap for black people in our country and that's a really big bold goal. I am listening and trying to understand where the firm can have value and impact to address the racial wealth gap and to create better economic conditions. And we want to make sure that that access to capital and the tools that help people provide jobs for others is available to all communities. What I love most about my career is to be able to tie the education I got from Eastern Michigan University and accounting, but do good with it in the community. One of the things that Eastern taught me was the ability to give back and to volunteer. I'm glad that Eastern afforded me the opportunity to, to lean in with my passion around doing good and making a difference in the community with the knowledge of being an accountant. So understanding how to, financial systems can make a difference in the community is what I, what I really enjoy. Having an affordable education I could do in four years was really important to me. And then when I got on campus, there are two women that really made a difference where like angels in my life that I met, Dr. Lynette Finley and Dr. Nora Martin. And they showed me 
what it would look like if I could actually accomplish this thing called education. Dr. Lynette Finley ran student services in the diversity and inclusion office. And, and working with her and having her give me advice and counsel really made the difference. And the same thing for Dr. Martin. And they just happened to have one thing in common. They both were members of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And so I went on to pledge that sorority in college because they were living examples of what I could be if I really pursued one, a quality education, did it with excellence, and also gave back to the community in an organization of women, other collegiate women who made a difference in the community every day. I'm not a big person around awards or recognition. I feel like my work should speak for itself, but also know that representation matters. And to see a young lady like me who had very humble beginnings, and if we just wanna be honest, I grew up poor and didn't really understand what a college education could do for me. And now that I've achieved it, I want somebody to look at me and say, I could be that person, just like Dr. Lynette Finley and Dr. Nora Martin were that for me. I wanna be that for another young student at EMU. I'm honored to receive the Distinguished Alumni Award for Eastern Michigan University to an organization and university that poured so much into me in my formative years. I started at EMU at 18 years old and when I graduated, I was much better prepared for the world and really the opportunities that I got from Eastern set me up for my career and I can't thank my sorority sisters enough I can't thank Dr. Nora Martin, Dr. Lynette Finley, and all of the EMU faculty that poured into me. A special shout out to Geraldine Cruz. She believed in me, and because of her belief in me and that commitment to stand on my case, I, I've had the opportunities I've had, so thank you, EMU. Finally, the John W. Porter Distinguished Service Award presented to individuals who have made an outstanding contribution to Eastern Michigan University or the Alumni Association of EMU. Recipients need not be graduates of Eastern Michigan University. Emeritus faculty and staff members Gregory A. Peoples and Betty Warren have been bestowed this elite award in honor of distinction. The true test of our effectiveness is the positive difference we make in the lives of the individual student. The reason I'm so passionate about education, particularly for a black students' education, is because when, when I was growing up, there weren't any black teachers in our school. The first black teacher that I had was my uncle. There are so many positive experiences that I had here at Eastern, working with the students, working with the staff, working with the faculty, that it's hard to pinpoint one favorite opportunity here. I was here when the undergraduate symposium started, and that was a real testimony to how faculty and student affairs people could work together. We didn't give our students just filing to do in the offices. The students who worked in our offices and the students who did like special programming, they were really challenged by their faculty to do research so that when they left their jobs here at Eastern, graduate schools would look at their application and say, you did this as an undergraduate? And they say, well, yes, we did this. And they say, well, how could you do that? And the students would say, well, because my supervisor or my mentor, they gave us a real opportunity to do real work and it prepared them for when they left Eastern. A student who I think about um, often is a student named Tyran Burrell. Burrell was really instrumental in helping to set up the um, Great People's Degree Completion Scholarship. I mean, I was humbled, of course. When Burrell passed, the first person who called me in the morning was one of my coworkers, and she called me and she asked me if I knew that Tyran Burrell had passed, and I, I, I was very taken aback. But you know, the interesting thing about that was, <laughs> I was very sad that whole day. But on my way to work, there were two other students who called me to ask me if I knew that he had passed and to check in to see how I was doing. You know, we had a, a, such a great community of students and faculty here. That comes from an investment in your, your students, an investment in your community, an investment in your job. You know, so when you talk about what was one of your favorite experiences at Eastern, I, I don't have a favorite experience. I have multitude of experiences that I, I consider to be blessed with having the opportunity to have had. When I married my wife 42 years ago, 
I told her, I said, we're only going to be in Ypsilanti for two years. So that was 42 years ago. Ypsilanti is our home. We raised our children here. We become involved in the community here. I served on uh, three local school boards. My wife is also very active in the community. She's the past national president for the Jack and Jill of America Incorporated, which is a mother's group, a family group that promotes education of uh, young black children. We spend a lot of time in the community here. First of all, I'd like to thank the Alumni Foundation for their selecting me and honoring me with this very distinguished award. I want to thank really the most important person in my life, and, and that's my wife, Alice Peoples, for her support, dedication, and love for the last 43 years. She is um, more than a best friend, but she is just someone that I couldn't do without. So I would like to thank her. I'd like to thank my family for their support, and also the many students and faculty who made it possible for me to receive this John W. Porter Distinguished Service Chair Award. I got here, I found EMU very, very supportive of young faculty, and I found a lot of people very, very committed to the students. And a lot of discussion of mathematics, which was very exciting. I have always thought it was important to help the students, period. One of the things I like the most, we provided an opportunity for people, many of whom came as freshmen, many of whom didn't. Some were very bright, but had struggled through and didn't like school from junior high, others started college and it didn't work. What we provided a place where you could get a quality education and make of it what you wanted, but also to get to know them and get to know the things that they're dealing with. When you get to know what people struggle with, you have a lot more respect for them and you are really invested in their future. Our job was always to help a student become whatever they wanted to be. I was told often that if you want to ask for something, you've got to focus on students, which I believe it's, you know, you need to do it for students, but I believed that supporting faculty to do the jobs that's critical to the university in teaching and research is supporting students. When I became president of the faculty council, the idea was the faculty council gets input on academic matters. If you articulate input certain ways into the right people, they can have an impact. One of the people who had the most impact was Dr. Ronald Collins. Ron Collins was the provost at the time. He suggested ways of getting us involved. And one of them was the way that the budget gets set. He offered to bring us in and have the faculty council do the same procedure for evaluating and ranking those proposals that the deans had we actually submitted our own proposal. That went through the process, did not get funded, but when a new president came in, he picked it up and made it happen. And the lesson I learned from it is, it's not always the I complain and it happens. You just do a lot of hard work and then look for an opportunity, if this doesn't work, to do it that way. As, a, as an emeritus faculty member, I'm now a member of the Arts and Science Resource Board. I also think that community involvement is important. I'm also the treasurer of the Ypsilanti Historical Society. You bloom where you're planted, and that's where home is. I want to thank the Alumni Association both for this tremendous honor and for producing this remote event. I am very grateful to the support staff that, who allowed the technology to play such an important role in the last year. I'm very impressed with how quickly the faculty and, and lecturers were able to get their courses online. Thanks so much to my nominator, Dr. Kathy Stacy, a great friend and a colleague over the years. Thank you to all of the people I worked with at EMU. On a personal note, the individual who had the greatest impact on me and my career at EMU is Dr. Sally McCracken. Emeritus Professor of Communication, Media, and Theater Arts. Sally was an effective and beloved teacher, a legendary leader of faculty, and supporter of staff. She was a great inspiration to me, and over time, 
a very good friend and the love of my life. When we retired in 2012, it was clear we would not go to sunnier climates, but we would stay in Ypsilanti and remain active at EMU. I have accomplished nothing on my own, but only in collaboration. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations to our 2020 and 2021 Alumni Award recipients. This has been a phenomenal evening to honor and acknowledge our alumni of excellence. The success they have attained in their personal and professional lives is inspiring. This impressive group of honorees illustrates the very best of Eastern Michigan University. They hail from various colleges and fields of study with a wide range of experiences. Their individual contributions to Eastern and to the community at large are invaluable. Alumni are our ambassadors, our advocates, our recruiters, our volunteers, and our sounding board. They bring their experience and expertise to our students, faculty, and staff. We consider them our lifelong partners, making Eastern Michigan a great university. Tonight, as in years past, our Alumni Award recipients will receive a State of Michigan tribute acknowledging this honor. Each tribute is signed by Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Senator Jeff Irwin, and Representative Ronnie Peterson. Recipients will also receive a Golden Eagle feather pin representing the pride and tradition of excellence our alumni stand for. We are incredibly proud of our recipients and all they have done. I ask the Eastern Michigan University community to give rise and join me in celebrating our 2020 and 2021 Alumni Award recipients. Farah Harb, Jasmine Lee, Zach Weigel, Dr. Kevin Allshuler, Dr. Derek Coleman, Christina Miller, Regent Chad Newton, Carrie Clark, Bina Roselle Elliott, Gregory Peoples, Dr. Betty Warren. To each of you, I thank you for allowing us to recognize you as the fine ambassadors for the university that you are. Congratulations on your achievements. What an exceptional evening. I hope that you've learned a lot about our shining stars. Thank you all for joining us this evening to recognize these very deserving award recipients. Again, it has been an honor to present these awards tonight, and I hope we can all be proud of the wonderful things EMU alumni are doing in the world around us. Tonight was a representation of those wonderful things, which embody what we can expect from our graduates, and that is excellence. We will see you again next year. Thank you again for joining us, and have a wonderful evening.